I think specifically the Lord wants to encourage people who have been intimidated. Intimidated to step out in the giftings of God in your life. There's all kinds of different venues that can apply to. But there's some here who've been choked by others around them. But it's not the other's fault. You've allowed them to choke you and silence you. The Lord wants you to stir up the gifts and speak and act. It could be something at work and and your willingness to share the good news or to share the love of God. It, it could be just conversationally in social situations that you, things enter your heart and you, you have a word to share, an encouraging word like Isaiah talked about in Isaiah 50 to sustain the weary one with the word. But you won't give it. You're afraid to be wrong or there's other people that are more, um, they're more talkative and you always think they have the right thing to say. I don't. Perhaps it's in a church setting. Perhaps it's a ministry calling. It could apply to that in a ministry setting. Any one of those are like it. There's, there's just there's people here. We all experience this to a degree at one point in our lives or another where we feel choked by others. But God says, stop that. Do not be intimidated. That is not the other person. It is the spirit of that giant Philistine. And it's an uncircumcised Philistine should not be taunting you that way. The devil wants to keep us silent from speaking the truth or for using the, the gifts that we have to, to minister to the Lord and to others. And so the Lord wants to encourage you, step out, step out. Stir up the gifts. One of the ways you stir them up is by activating them. Try to use them. Even if they're supernatural, they're always practical. Stir them up, use them. Use them, step out, whether it's sharing someone with someone boldly by faith to step out for a witness, whether it's a, just a conversational situation among other Christians. Perhaps here and there it's a word during a meeting or in the smaller groups it's, you know, you have more to say but you just don't do it. The Lord says, stir it up, give it a try. The worst that can happen is, is, is not that bad and the best that can happen is the glory of God. So step out, get some courage, stir up the gifts, be encouraged. Thank you, Lord. Bless your people. Bless your people. Open up the mouths of those who are silenced by the Philistine, Lord. Lord, there was one David in the middle of that Israelite army but your word says of that redeemed Jerusalem which we believe figuratively applies to us for now the weakest member of that redeemed company is as David thank you Lord and the 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 the, the community of us is like God himself so we pray Lord that the very weakest of us would be like the David we read about And the whole of us will be like God, very God himself. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What I'm going to do at this point, um, I'm going to have an invitation for ministry of prayer. And while I do that, I'm just going to ask Aaron to lead us in some worship and praise.